Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about types of articles for publishing in scientific journals. Why types of articles is important? First, you should understand the fact that the structure and subheadings of the different types of articles are different, then the word limit is different, number of references will be different, number of tables and figures also will be different, then there are different number of authors for different types of articles, different publication and processing charges for different types of articles, different impact is there for different types of articles. So you should understand these differences before deciding on the type of article. Here is the classification of the type of articles for publishing based on the original research or the secondary literature from the published work. So basically this original research will be the primary literature which we create from our own study or from our study setting. This is called as original research. Whereas your published work is recreating some already existing primary literature and create a secondary literature. Here is the difference between the primary literature and the secondary literature. Primary literature requires original research in your own study setting whereas secondary literature is based on the previously published studies. It deals with the very current and highly specialized topic whereas the secondary literature usually discusses or summarizes the primary existing primary literature. The examples of primary literature are your thesis, conference proceedings, technical reports and the original research articles are the publications which we make in journals. The secondary literature includes a monographs that is a book review and the review articles. We have different types of reviews in it and we will be dealing about each of this type of original research articles in journal, monographs, review articles and other types of publication in detail. Now we are going to deal the original article in detail. The other names for original article can be original research, research article, research or just article. The full report of the data will be available from the research which we have done or observed. Which we have done or observed is called as the original article. This is a primary research. Then we have a separate format for it that is IMRAD style that is introduction, methodology, results and discussion sections for this original article. This is the IMRAD formula. So we have this introduction, methods, results and discussion. So why it is done, what is done, what did you find, what does it mean. So all this makes a original article. This is the basic structure we have introduction, methods, results, discussion and conclusion. Under introduction we have need for the study, objectives, review of literature will be there. Under discussion we have limitations, recommendations, conclusions, references and annexures will be there. Here is one example of a original article. Original article usually will be ranging from 3 to 6000. It will not include, this word counts will not usually include this abstract methods, reference and the legends present in the figure and table. So usually it will be 3 to 6000. On an average it will be 4500 words expected. The title should not be more than 20 words. It should be catchy derived from the or uh, reflecting your objective. The abstract should be between 200 to 300 words. So it should not be more than 200 words they say, but commonly 200 to 300 words are the accepted level. So this is one type of an original article. Here it is a qualitative study. It does not uh, necessarily be a qualitative, even quantitative study will be comprised under original article. So original article here is one such example of a qualitative study, sorry quantitative study coming under the original article. 
now what are all the other characteristics of the research article is it has a definitive structure that is imrad style imrad style it includes a hypothesis background study methods results and their interpretation discussion and conclusion it will be ranging from 3 3000 to 6000 words sometimes even 12000 words will be accepted if that increase in word is justified or you have to pay uh, more for including more number of pages in journals it is tend to be time intensive also you should not get confused between the study type and the article type here you should confirm what type of study you are doing what this is the algorithm for the study design where you broadly classify into experimental and observational study design experimental again based on the randomization we divide it into randomized control trial and non randomized control trial when we don't have a comparison group within an observational study you call it as a descriptive study and uh, and if under observational study if you have a comparison group you call it as a analytical study and you measure both the exposure and outcome at the same time it is called as cross sectional study when you start from the exposure go to the outcome it is called as cohort study when you start from the uh, outcome and go back to your exposure you call it as a case control study this is the algorithm for identifying the study design and study design is different from the article type which you are making any type of study design can go into any type of article here is the evidence pyramid you start from the in vitro research which you conduct in laboratory then your animal studies above which you have ideas editorials and opinions above which you have case individual case reports and group of cases you have case series then case control studies cohort studies good randomized control trial will yield good evidence this is called as evidence pyramid in the tip of the evidence pyramid you have systematic review and meta analysis people still argue that a good rct can be placed over a poorly conducted systematic review also but this is the evidence pyramid there will be when the quality is good when the quality is good it can climb one or two steps in the ladder of this pyramid but this is the evidence pyramid you have the quality of evidence generated out of this study design will be uh, rated high and this should not be confused with article types if you want to read more about the study design and based on the study design if you want to have the reporting guidelines you can visit this equatornetwork.org i keep keep on telling about this site in every uh, almost every presentation so now we are moving to the other type of primary literature we have short reports or letters where you have brief communications or short communications where you have a small part of the research or if the author considers your research as a smaller research then you can use it use your study as a short communication so this is one such uh, example where it is a small study has been accepted as a short communication in this journal you can have case studies also case studies means you you have case series and case reports one or one single case means it is a case report more than one means you have it as a case series but ideally for case series 5 to 10 will be a good number Uh, where case studies which includes it is the instances of the interesting phenomena either uh, it can be due to a rare disease or rare expression of a common disease that can be there then you can discuss the signs and symptoms uh, diagnosis treatment of a particular disease where you found some sort of surprise element in your uh, uh, treatment uh, or in your case scenarios you can use this care guidelines for writing a good case studies now we are moving to the secondary literature the common secondary literature is the review article <coughs> the other names for the review articles are literature review or overview it can be classified into pure literature reviews mini review systematic review and meta analysis usually this review articles provide insights new insights or interpretation to the already existing literature 
or the sub- subject it provides a comprehensive summary of research on a certain topic and a perspective on the state of the field and where it is heading it is often written by the leaders or pioneers in the particular discipline most commonly after invitation from the editors of the journal reviews are often widely read and highly cited than the primary research so what you need to understand here is it provides new sight and interpretation to the subject at the same time uh, it is done by the leaders or the pioneers in that particular topic usually done after the invitation from the editors of the journal it is widely read and highly cited now here are some uh, guidelines for writing the review articles for simple narrative review this sandra guidelines that is scale for assessment of narrative review article guidelines sandra guidelines is there for systematic review and meta analysis the most commonly used guideline is the prisma guidelines here is one such simple uh, review article with using the sandra guidelines we have just published this slide represents the differences between a systematic review and literature review both comes under the uh, review of article section but this is a systematic review where all the articles related to the organic food and health has been uh, studied and uh, a, a conclusion has been given based on the studies which has been included here here this is a simple review article it here it is a literature review where you uh, address the scenario background and you give a give your narrative to it so it is called as simple literature review and there are some other kind of secondary literature publications so that is come that comes under perspectives perspectives you can have opinions commentary view points uh, the scholarly reviews of fundamental concepts or the prevalent ideas in the field will be included under the perspectives so here is one uh, view point published here sensory neural hearing loss in chronic kidney disease patients a major concern this has been published under the view point same way the concept of emotional intelligence in medical curriculum has been published as a view point so this is this comes under perspectives now let us look into the detail into the difference between the perspective opinion and commentary articles we need to understand the differences between these three perspective articles are the scholarly reviews of fundamental concepts or prevalent ideas in a field they are short essays which roughly having 200 words in it that present a personal view point or a critic about the established notions pertaining to a field it is whereas your opinion pieces include author's view point on the interpretation analysis or methods used in the study it is relatively short and the articles based on the constructive criticism that is supported by the evidence commentary articles are the short articles ranging between 1000 to 1500 words it discusses the previously published work explaining how it might be of interest to the readers so this is the commentary articles again the most important section under the secondary literature is the editorials these editorials are the comments on the articles published within the same journal itself usually written or commissioned by the journal editor it will be either explaining or interpreting that previously uh, published article or criticizing some part of it or persuading into uh, the topic or praising the article so usually editorials will be like that and the last part of the secondary literature is the book review where you take a uh, book and give a review about it in a public publishing by publishing it in a journal there are four stages to writing a book review first is to introduce the book then you have to give an outline about it contents then highlight the parts of the book by selecting the particular chapters or the themes then give a detailed evaluation about the topic so these are all included in the book review for completion sake we complete this other rarely used secondary literature that is letters or communications which is just the brief description of critical research findings it is not 
same as the letter to the editor then we have technical reports where they present the results of a project which could be published before the corresponding full length original article we have conference proceedings which is a most important grey literature containing the collection of scholarly papers presented at the academic conferences which may or may not be published then we ha- we can have it as a data papers where articles dedicated to describe data sets can then video articles are the recent ones this is a emerging format wherein a novel technique is demonstrated on a video and a detailed textual description description will be followed so this is called as video articles which is a newer initiative so the types of articles for publishing can be broadly classified into primary and secondary uh, research primary research uh, we include original article case series or case studies whereas the secondary uh, work we have reviews as a common thing then we we have editorials letters view points commentaries opinions perspectives etc now this is for the indian context where the national medical commission of india has given a notification in uh, 2022 where original papers meta analysis systematic reviews and case series are accepted for promotion purposes uh, then these type of articles should be published in Uh, the indexed journals with medline pubmed central science citation index science citation index expanded em base scopus uh, doaj so this is one important notification so you need to look at the type of articles for publishing here and the indexing here so this is the recent notification this is only for india for promotion purposes in medical colleges then finally to sum up we should remember the fact that not all journals publish all type of articles you need to know which type of article need to be sent to a to which type of the journal either make an article to the journal's need or prepare an article and identify a suitable journal so these two are the only options available you need to understand about the aims and scope of the journal types of the articles accepted processing and publication charges then the turn around time how long they take to accept and publish the impact factor of the journal the it is indirectly the measuring the quality and reputation of the journal and you have to ensure that the journal is not a predatory one here are some of the useful links from which i have prepared this presentation you can understand better about the types of articles for publishing